Welcome back. F1 2019, not 2020, let alone 2021. Um, very much intend on buying the game for F1 2021 when it comes out, um, but never, never did get F1 2020, so I'll, I'll never drive around Hanoi. Um, gonna have to wait to drive around Zandvoort, but. 2021 calendar is pretty cool. A few new circuits as well, so that's exciting. But we're back. We've got we've got a, a race in Belgium at Spa Francorchamps. Let's do qualifying. Um, yeah, there's 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 been a hiatus for sure. Um, better Wi-Fi now, so that's a thing. That's that's beneficial. I just I just felt like playing F1 games and I thought yeah let's carry on doing career mode and let's carry on streaming like we did before, um, you know it's it's an exciting time. Mercedes it's have released a horrendous car. Uh, Alpine have released a solid calendar. like Long seven or maybe even an eight out. I'd, I'd say it's like a solid Oruz seven out of ten well. livery for Alpine. For solid seven out of ten. Let's leave it to Crofty. When it comes to getting lap time not. out of this circuit, it's <laughs> traditionally been about maximizing top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? Top speed is a key factor for this circuit. Even if you can achieve the same lap time as someone running less wing than you, chances are you'll find overtaking difficult if you have too much drag. On that very point, I'm oh so uh, as it stands I've got four four right, wins. It's not gonna be easy getting Part to the next qualifying session. Three three could be could be beneficial. Oh, do we go three three or four four? I think because of all the other things. What about three four? No, I'm 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 gonna stick with four four, and maybe I'll regret it. Maybe I won't. Um. But you know we we move we move uh, let's let's advance the session a little bit yeah um, and then track can rubber in a bit and we can have a great old time with a grippy surface and we'll be happy nice um, bit of traffic let's go now that's the route yeah, that's the right one. Cool. Okay, nice. Flying lap. Don't see why not. Anyone in front? Anyone behind? No. Is the answer. Fucking no. I'm one of two on track at the moment. So that's fun. Um... Oh yeah, I, so, FP1, I was alright, I think I was maybe 7th or 8th by the end of the session, maybe ninth. And then I topped FP2 and FP3 with qualifying sim. Oh, for fucks. Why have you done that? Why? Oh, you better let me through. Actually, okay, it could end well, it could end well if, oh Jesus. If you give me a little toe and let me through, Georgie boy, Georgie boy, you know you want to. Purple in sector one. Yeah, I, I, oh, I don't know when the last time I played this game was, but it's been a while. No, no more recently than August 2020. So. It's been a while. Um, oh, that's not the best. Oh, that wasn't great. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't amazing. Yeah, I'm aiming for like a 142... Zero, maybe, for the pole. Who knows? I mean, I've got max engine mode engaged as well, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely aiming for less than a 132.0 because Hulkenberg's smashing a 141.9. I'm seeing that lap. It's 
to the line, the we get so provisional well pole in Q1, obviously. But that's pretty promising. I mean, in, in FP3, it was myself and Sevy Boy 1 2. So, looks like we've got pace. Um, yeah, that's. Where's Sev? What? Where, uh, there. Okay, few. Okay. Who's who's out? Um, both Renaults are through, both Hazards are through, both Toro Rossos. Oh, Red Bull, what is going on with them? That's mental. It's somewhat expected, really. Um, no, no, no massive surprises there. Uh, we've got Charlie, not too far away in positions, anyway. Um, I mean, it's oh, it's getting a little, little close round here. I reckon Lewis can pull it out the bag too. To be fair, so oh, but then Perez as well. Fucking hell, how did Hulkenberg do that? He's not a second faster than Stroll. Or even 1.1 seconds. What's going on? Anyway, top the session. Happy days. Q2, let's go. Ooh. I'm going to try and qualify on the medium tyre. I'm going to try and qualify on the medium tyre. Can only change front wing, which I could do just for this. You know, why not? Oh, fuck it, let's go out now. Belgium Spa is for sure one of my uh, one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. Um, first first real world Grand Prix that I ever went to was at Spa. It was 2018. Didn't get to hear there come Sebastian Vettel because I was there in person. Um, but oh, I was, was so good. It was so good. What's up with braking? Why is it? Right, I'm. Oh, I, I do apologise for all of the inevitable rewinds that I'm going to have to do. But it, it really is inevitable, and I, I wish, I wish I didn't need to, but I do because, you know, at the end of the day, I've been away from the game for a long time. Um, but we, we move, we move. It's fine. Probably um, doesn't doesn't matter if it's not really. I make the fucking rules. Oh, that's fine as well. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's two two seventeen. Oh my god. One forty two nine. That's cute. Brilliant. Oh, I almost feel slightly bad. Not quite, but almost. Not quite what we're after. A, a, a dab more break is is what might have been needed there. That could have been required. Oh, Hulkenberg's gone slower. Which I'll also do, obviously, because, you know, I'm on a, I'm on a harder time. And it's possible they are, except it's not, because Hulkenberg, as we can see, is on the soft. As is Devin Butler doing 142 dead, essentially. Um, you know, 3,000 doesn't really, doesn't really do much, I don't think. Good breaking zone. Oh, you have. <sighs> I 
Well, I'm happy. So, let's go back a la garage. And we'll pop on a new set of tyres just in case. And we'll we'll just keep an eye out, really. Yeah. Um, probably need to make a decision like three minutes to go. So, I think we're safe. <laughs> I think we're safe. Oh, I'm seeing that lap. Don't. Oh, actually, I was I was safe by like six tenths. It's fine. Um, Seb, what the fuck? And and K Mag, let's not forget him. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm happy. Medium tie for the race. Wow, well we were. King in the castle, king in the castle. Uh, so, the big one we've got, I mean, we've got three sets of tyres, haven't we? Um, yeah, cool. Should we just go out? Sounds sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good. Let's just fly out with a flying lap. Um, have a great time. Just have a bit of fun, mate. You genuinely can from from max hot lap to lean none. You can tell the difference. Power earlier does work. Um, also, I want to make it clear I've not changed the difficulty from when I stopped playing. So, the difficulty that I was on for the last race that I did, it's, it's the same. Same difficulty. Not the line I was necessarily aiming for, but that doesn't matter. Alex Albon, 142.7. That will definitely get beaten. Hopefully by me. Seb does a... Brilliant. <sighs> Seb doesn't do a 114.4 or whatever it is. A 141.9, that's a that is a good time for sure. And now it's a 142.0. So I mean we've we've slowed him down really is, is what we've done. Okay Mac 140 whatever. 140 something. 0 0.8. 141.8, that's the one. That's not great. Can we redo that? I think we can. Um. Whoa, 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 we were. Yeah, maybe it was. Oh, maybe, maybe exit to the last corner. Did it. Maybe that was it. So, new set of tyres. See what they're doing. Oh my. Well, obviously, we're not Our getting pole so then. Is a That's mental. <laughs> oh my god. Right. That's bollocks. 
look at it. He's more than a second faster than anyone in Sector 2. What? Like, what are we, what are we meant to do? Too much time. We've got we've got enough, but like like we can't go can't go taking the piss now. Already improved. gonna I literally I'm gonna I'm gonna do it so that we don't go on the grass. Oh we've got a lot of time. Yeah, not the fastest line either, turns out. I mean, it's not slow as such. You know, we only lost a tenth, but it's a tenth more than I want to lose. So we're going to take this line. Nice. Okay, to be fair, despite Butler's middle sector, I have gone faster than him, so I'm fine with that. Um, oh, baby. Oh, baby, we are so good at this game. We are so good at this game. We're so good. <laughs> and with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. The engineer, Butler, Renault? and Kevin Magnussen. What? With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us me, then for me what and will Dev no Dog. doubt be a fantastic race. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah, cool. Um Nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really care about the flashbacks. It doesn't doesn't bother me whatsoever. Oh, sorry. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Yeah, not a bad day. You what you could say that it is quite case? a good day when you get pole. Um, ba ba ba. Ho ho ho. Banter. Um. Hmm. Yeah, go on. Bit of showmanship, mate. Do you think and also will true. Be able to carry his pace um, from qualifying into the race. Ooh, yeah. We we love the showmanship. The Just front, do it for banter. Devin alongside must bring back some memories from F2. Let's go. Appreciate your time. Also, the other one wouldn't have made sense because F2's a spec series. So, banter. Um, either way, we're on pole, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Let's... 95 difficulty. I've not changed it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean... Let's go into the race. <laughs>
Well done. Very solid result. You're looking good for the race. In the 48 races held at Spa between 1950 and 2015, the race winner has only started from pole position on 16 occasions. Qualifying yesterday may have set the order for today, but expect the unexpected here at the Belgian Grand Prix. As the saying goes, of course, anything can happen. And you know what? It usually does. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardain Forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Can we begin by having a chat about Charles Leclerc? They've had to change their gearbox. It's never a good start to a Grand Prix when, right off the bat, you have to contend with a grid penalty. Well, at the end of the day, it's always better to take some pain now than parking it up halfway through the Grand Prix. Let's just hope they can put that new gearbox to good use and get the results they're looking for. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. The so Charlie's got a penalty. Who else? Edging out Devon Butler. Here we go. Here we go. Down the rest of the grid I've we have Magnussen, has Albon, Albon oh. Sebastian Vettel, and Faber, Hulkenberg, Hamilton, Perez, and Valtteri Bottas, Ricardo. I mean, everyone's disappearing now. I mean, more people Gasly, have disappeared Sainz, than than Charles stayed. Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty, and Roman Grosjean. Russell and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So... OK, La Source is always pretty tight, but we've that got a clear run. Just makes Remember sense, the runoff if you need it. Um, whoa, what do you mean? Oh... Uh, half a lap, maybe. Oh. Hmm. No, I think I think do it. I think yeah, do it. Oh. If oh, see the longer I can stretch that. Oh. So I th lap 14 is, you know, sort of the best, best of both worlds. Um, however, for sure. Okay, go through all the gears if you can. We need to make sure the engagement is okay before the start. We're going to want to put some temperature into the tyres and brakes. We need to keep the engine cool though, so don't go too high with the revs. I don't know what I was saying, because I was so focused on warming my tyres. <laughs> um, that's Radion, actually. Uh, but, yeah, essentially, um, I have absolutely no idea what I was talking about. Um, Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. Oh, go on, give it some of that. Give it some of that. Oh, baby. Oh, it's it's it, the tyres are going to be toasty. To say the whoa. Um, I was probably saying something important. But I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Yes, tyre strategy. Um, the longer I can push the stint on oh, on the mediums, the longer I can push that stint, the better. Because 
it then gives me a better chance of fastest lap. Yes. And Perez is fucking nowhere. I think I timed the braking pretty well. Ho oh, pretty. Hopefully, I'm gonna have warm, warm, toasty brakes by the time we, uh, by the time we get the lights out. Oh, so I feel like this is also a good track for me because my race starts are always Keep terrible. The always. The uh, start sequence will begin as soon as the grid However. Is Ready with the clutch? It's a short run down to T1. Brilliant. Jesus Christ, he's absolutely smoked me off the line. Oh my god. Oh, that's. I'm sorry. Uh, that's all I can say there. Brilliant. Oh, this is maybe going to take a few tries. Okay, if if that could not happen, that would be oh, that would be amazing. Oh no! Right, can I start learning from things? See, that's fine. That's fine by me. This is gonna test how big my balls are. To be fair, flashbacks of race starts are nothing new. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Um, let's not get a warning, because... Oh, that was a slidey boy. Okie dokie. I am also in rich fuel mix, which isn't good. Um, When we get to lap 3, and DRS is activated, then I'm happy to drop down to standard. For, for the time being though, staying high for pretty much all the lap. Yeah. Remember rich energy. Remember them. Fuck me. Mm, don't really want to get a slide on, if I'm honest. If I can stay with him, that'd be good. It doesn't really look like I can.
Oh, you have. Nice. I don't know I'm surprised anymore. So not great. Um. Not gonna, not gonna work out. Check your, check your MFD for the, for a new strategy. Yeah, horse. No, cool. Oh, DRS yeah, is now enabled. Will be available to you within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone. Overtake once we get through Radion. Maybe. Cool. Um, so <sighs> like that's the thing, maybe I maybe I could push for oh my god. Maybe I could push for like a lap, lap and a half and get within a second of him. Um but at what cost? At what cost? Well, I can tell you the fucking benefit, let's do it. Except that's not quite the line we're after. Um, that's not what we want. Oh. Let's fucking reduce this gap. Let's do it. I'm not. I'm not looking to overtake him. I'm looking to use slipstream and DRS to maintain a gap to him, so that I can then save a bit of fuel and/or ERS. Now, how far are we? Long way more than a second. So I want. I want the braking zone, me. Better. Great work. That's a new fastest lap for the race. We're leading our teammate by 4.7 seconds. Oh, you'll take the piss. Do we just go for it? a lot of fuel already, we're going to have to start conserving earlier than we'd like. 
not great. Um, I feel like, oh, I, I mean like sure, I want to be quick, but I also want to be quick in real time, you know, I don't want to take fucking three hours to run a race, you know. Oh, that's lovely. Why did that... Right, that one's fine. Because it just started going straight when I was already turning. That's mental. Sorry. Oh, I genuinely am. that I'm going full focus mode. Um, oh, Seb's up to third. Nice. Oh, not good. Not good. Um, Seb's up to third. Nice. I'm going full focus mode, which is why I'm quiet. <laughs> uh, and I'm not quiet much of the time. Not good. Some information on Russell. They're retiring oh, from the race. Oh, Georgie boy, no.
Well done. I don't get how he gets such acceleration out of out of the last corner. Or indeed out of out of C1. Stay behind, use DRS slipstream efficient, you know. He's also going to be boxing this lap, next lap, approximately. Oh, poo. That works as well. Um. Bam! 
Uh, nice. Fun and kill the nice. that I do. Um. Sebastian Sebs in as well. Stop. Copy. So, should we uncomplicate it a bit more and just go standard on the fast bits which is like sector 1 and 2 and then lean in sector 3 Did that work? probably sector 2, sorry so sectors 1 and 3 standard, sector 2 lean I'm good Good. Nice. God. Na be forever you and me you Fine, learn from your mistakes. Jesus Christ. Oh, also, I'm going to the British Grand Prix this year. I know, back in, I don't know, December, January, I wouldn't have thought that's possible. And yet... Me and one or two mates from uni got the big boy plan under 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 wraps. Gonna be good. Yeah, I I'm so excited for this. I mean, you can't believe. It's just like a lot of things that could end up being pretty good. Danny Rick. Whoa, terribly sorry. Um, Danny Rick's not pitted, correct? Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes' time. Rain what? in 10 minutes. You're taking the piss. Oh, for Yeah. 
you are actually taking the piss off you. Oh my god. To be fair, when he says 10 minutes, he never actually... He means like 20. say 20 minutes, but 2 minutes a lap, it's going to be here before the end of the race, you might want to is essentially what it is. Lower fuel mix. We may not finish on the current settings. Oh, for fucks. That, that Mercedes livery for 2021, Jesus Christ, what were they thinking? Like, genuinely, it's just so bad design. arm, I got vaccinated, which is, oh bollocks, got to put it up to standard, but we saved fuel, so every cloud, um, yeah, I got vaccinated, which was nice, oh, um, felt like funny for about 24 hours, and then it was fine, um, but yeah, no, it's exciting, it's, it's, it's very exciting, you know, the world's slowly going back to normal, um, yeah. Gap to teammate behind is 20.2 seconds. Crazy. Crazy the world that we are living in now and have been living in for a year. It's 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 been it's been mental and it's felt really fucking long as well. <laughs> Literally. These tyres are looking pretty good, you know. I think lap 15 might be might be itchy arm again. Um, 
on your shout, lap 15 instead of 14. Yeah? Yeah? Racing or fucking driving, because there is a difference. Pretty. So he's closing by a couple of tenths a lap, which I guess is promising for when we do get onto uh, onto the options. I'm, I'm going to tidy it up, because it could be important. Give us the best in lap you can. So, a set of tyres again. 50 front left. Oh, keep an eye out for the course of a lap. However, at 14 laps, 15, 15%. Well, 13 laps, 50%. Um, oh, it's about 4 a lap. Yeah, about 4% a lap. Is, is what we're looking at, 4% wear. So, I think I could go another two laps and box at the end of lap 15. Yeah, box end of lap 15. And, and then... Things. End of lap 15 gives us an extra lap. Oh, well, so, one less lap on the softs. Jesus Christ. No, you know what, maybe, maybe do box this lap. Okay. Maybe, maybe do. Fuck it, yeah, no, pit this lap. Why not? Why fucking not? Some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. 
go. Okay, go now. now I'm not really worrying because 10 to 15 minutes. Um, like it's it's just not really much to worry about, is it? Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. So Butler is just up the road. Fire temps. Cold. No, that's brake temps. Fucking lunatic. Oh wow, that's that is grip. Oh my god. Probably carry on, carry on with um, thingy. Yeah, carry on with lean in, in sector two. DRS, that fucking filth. Next lap could be fast as fuck. Make it, make it. Brilliant. I mean, cheers. They're just moving over. Like, I know, I, I, I get why that was what the AI did. I get it. But... No, because like it's not it's not really protecting the inside if it's miles before. And I get you've also got to make the move early, otherwise it's you know naughty boy. But come on. Wasn't I perfect in sector one? Come on. Yeah, we're leaving him fucking bed. Nice. So the only risk is the rain. Because I'm not good in Just the rain. Just a reminder, we are critical on fuel, probably a lap or so short. We fuel. don't need to risk a DNF We're chasing records, so We're think not about going down to mix fuel. one and lifting early into the corners. Hmm. If if Seb could do a job on Perez, that would be that would be grand. Job, there are five laps remaining then. Nice car. Yeah, go on, go on. There we go. There we go.
Nice one. Well done, George. Right. Chance. Seven point zero seconds. Cool. So Paris is dangerously close to being passed by Albon or Weber and Seb. There's a little train of three of them, and if I weren't driving, I'd definitely watch them. Oh shit, Forrest is playing tonight. And we'll have the lineups. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that lineup. Lolly starting left wing. Instead of Freeman, who doesn't seem to offer much, if I'm honest. Um, I know I know he can offer a lot, for sure. Um, it's just a case of doing it. Oh, wait, no. Is it... I think Renault have the maxed out engine, don't they? Wait, no. Or is that Haas? I mean, Renault might also have the maxed out engine. But Haas... No, it, it, it is Haas, yeah. Because, no, I remember when I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, both for ice supplies. And, yeah. Okay, right, cool. Weather report, probably 10 to 15. Imminent, interesting. Um, four laps to go. Interesting. So, no streaks on the cockpit. There's three laps of fuel remaining. So... As it stands, I'm not particularly worried. And I've got a four second lead, so even if we do get a bit of bit of dampness, um, I'm I'm happy. just stay in standard and not really bother with all that. Oh, now we can see the rain coming down. Just. 
so we've got to go three laps with a damp surface. It's it's never going to be wet. Damp is perhaps the, gap on the, car behind by the, five tenths per lap. The, the description. Radion is going to be sketchy on the final lap. Let's get a thumbnail. Yes, we won a World Championship with McLaren, didn't we? Cool. that yes oh wait no no it was this cool okay nice we're learning again it's fun and cool and nice it's cool cool do 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 That's the one. Oh, baby. No, I'll... Yeah, I'll do that later. Um, <laughs> because we are live. So we need to talk about it. So, is it Aston Martin tomorrow? Yeah. From well, from the time of recording on Tuesday. So, yeah, Tuesday second. Yeah, Tuesday second. Nice. Um, Mercedes and Alpine launched today. Alpine's like a solid. A solid seven. You could even call it an eight, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, I'd say eight. Eight needs to be something special. I'm not sure if it's special, but it's like a so I'd say it's a solid seven. Mercedes. I expect a bet from that. I, I'd say also, you know, I am missing the 
the Silver Arrow and I get that they're trying to add Silver back into it while keeping it the Black Arrow, obviously, but like, it just doesn't really work. And even, even what they have done, it's not done well. I, I, I really think, like, even with the features that they've been doing, it could just be done so much better, just like my driving. Um, Absolutely fine. Good thing we did box when we did. Could have even... Uh, could we have come in a lap earlier? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll probably end the lap on like... 45 front left. So it'll be fairly even. Play you what. We've still got a good amount of grip, it's not like we're sliding around left, right and centre. Yeah, no, I think I think Perez is now definitely going to finish third. Because if he's not been overtaken on the Kemmel straight, then where is he going to get past? Oh my Less god, he's caught a few button. Now. The tank is empty. What? Oh my god, well then I really, really hope that Butler keeps second because Perez is who I'm fighting for the championship. That's mental. Come on, Devin. Go on, lad. Oh my god, it's three tenths. Oh my god. So there is a potential overtaking turn into the bus stop chicane, however... Haas has that maxed out Ferrari engine. Speaking of Ferrari, I'm about to come across the line and win Belgian Grand Prix. You worked hard for that one. Congratulations. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, yeah, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit I'm that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver we won the race and got car, that's when um, you see results like those we witnessed today. Said fifth. Ooh. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent Paris performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly fucking a team that know it. what they're doing out there. Grazie ragazzi. Yeah, I mean it's 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 cool. Grazie mille. Gli uomini loro sono legando il giornale. That's Italian for the men are reading the newspaper. However. Duolingo is cool, the standings have but changed. no one would ever this say that sentence. This result narrows the gap between right our championship leader and the rest of ever. the standings. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Charles Leclerc showed exactly Me? how to manage yourself out on the track today. Fair play, Charlie. Five place grip penalty. Stuff. Got it to Let's nine. Let's move on to the constructors. The Fair lead play. of the top comes down after a strong I mean, personally, I think winning well, the race to another fantastic relatively weekend of comfortably. Racing. Thanks to everyone who Fastest joined us, lap. and we'll see you, you for know, the next one. All that good stuff. I think that's that's cool. Magnussen did horrendously, as did Albon. Um, Perez actually did very very well. Yeah, fair play. From ninth on the grid to get a podium—that's that's no mean feat. Um, 
Yeah, no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure yeah, you're pretty amazing happy performance. with that. Yeah, I know. Cheers. Um, you took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? Oh, it was. It was a relatively comfortable win, wasn't it? Um, chassis, anything? Uh, engine, fine. Um, you performed better than last weekend. What have changed? Have we got chassis? Chassis. Nice. You're breaking uh, all expectations. What's your secret? Oh, just go for showmanship, for that banter, just do it. Oh, we've got a fourth one, wow. Uh, da, 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 da. Showmanship, why not? Appreciate your time. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with my return. I know I was using flashbacks left, right, and centre, um, but none of it really matters. I mean, it's F1 2019, it really doesn't matter. Um, oh, yeah, also, I'm yeah going to have, have a look back, see the quality of the stream. Pourquoi? Just wanted to um, say congrats on the podium. It's thoroughly no, deserved. Because... We were sweating those last oh, few yeah, laps on the pit wall, um, but you brought it home. Looks like Monaco one of your rivals Canada. is also going to an upcoming oh, historical event. Time attack or pursuit. If you choose to take him on, it might help get your Time attack's up fucking bit. terrible. Um, cheers. Cheers. Um, R&D, we've got exactly 1,300 points. We could do that. We're all... We can't do that. Um... Wow, that is very cheap. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I think fuel consumption. Yes. Nice. And then we'll max out our engine. Uh cool. Um yeah, how much is that going to be? 651, we'll, we'll get that in the bank. So, if tyre wear is going to be here for Monza, correct? Hopefully, anyway. Uh, if that's the case, then we'll get brakes for Singapore, and we'll just be coming on leaps and bounds, really. You know, it's 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 pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good. Um, yeah, nice. Pursuit in Canada. Um, yes. I also need to remember to swap out the old engine parts, but, uh, doesn't really matter, does it? I also want to look at the championship, because I cannot remember. Well, I know, I know I was in second and Perez was first, but I don't know... I've gained 11 points. I know I've gained 11 points on him. I don't know what the gap was or is now. So I'll have a look at that too. And then, uh, then we'll say cheerio. Yeah, let's, let's just fucking go. Oh. Uh, put it in there. There. Mike Mikalski. That was definitely his, his name, wasn't it? Mike Wazowski. Yeah, nice. That's him. Whoa! T cam feels really weird. Formula One, but in slow motion. Oh, fuck me. Three laps, cool. Oh, if I get it done in two, I still have to drive the third lap, don't I? Yeah, cool. Have you got the 2005 slash 2006 Renault? I want to say we do. Yeah. 
in like a year, oh my god. Um, fuck it. Terrell fan car. Yeah. No, 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 this is the... Oh, my God, this is the 88 McLaren. That's the 82 McLaren. First F1 car to have a full carbon fibre monocoque. I believe. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's the case, but, like... Yeah, fuck it, no. It, I'm, I'm saying it is. Fuck it. slightly off centre. Like ever so slightly to the left, or is that just me? Bam. Yeah, I mean it's easy really. Um boost your reputation though. So that's that's good. Nice. I mean, there's nothing more to it. Um, yeah. So that was a thing. Next up, Monza. Happy days. Yeah. I mean, I'll. Uh, so I'll definitely do Monza, and then who knows. Um, because there's other stuff I'm busy with, and it is 2019 game as well. Like, once the season gets underway, as much as it'll be the only F1 game I have, it will also be two years old to what we're all seeing. Um, but 100%, I'm going to get F1 2021. 100%. Um... I'm already like low key planning what career mode I'm gonna do as well. Part of, part of me's thinking Aston depending on like liveries and everything. Congratulations on if your I could choose a team slash team mate, it, it would be McLaren. But then I don't want to upset the balance of Ricardo and Lando there. Um Alpine, not really sure. Um Alfromeo Haas, ooh, could happily just boot Sonoda out. Um, 
Yeah, I, d I don't know. Ooh, Williams with George could be a vibe. Um, I don't want to go straight into like Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes. Um, so like Aston Martin, McLaren, Alpine. Yeah, that's that's the sort of area you're looking at. I think most likely is Aston Martin. Replace Stroll. Um, Seb is your teammate. Happy days. Look at all that. We've got tyre wear. Ooh, qualifying doesn't look fun. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. That's fun and cool. Nice. Championship uh, engine. Put the ship parts in. And then maybe because it's Monza, we go to engine part two for the race. Yeah, go on. Championship, we are seven points behind Perez. Nice. Yeah, no, that is that is that is good. Um, Seb's up to sixth. I don't know what the likelihood is of us beating Renault in the constructors. However. We can wait and see. Um, out of since Azerbaijan, we've been on the podium every race apart from Spain. I can't really remember what happened. I think it was just an average race. Start of the season could have could could hurt us. But Perez, oh my, Perez has just been really consistent. Uh, first, second, first, fourth, first, didn't finish. Seventh, first, fifth, sixth, first, third, third. You know, aside from like well DNF obviously. You know, and then three races, fifth, sixth, seventh, and fourth, and then he's finished third twice, second once, and won four races. As have we. Um, Weber also winning once, and who's Danny Rick won in Hungary, uh, Vettel won in Canada, Lewis Hamilton winning in Bahrain. Look at that. Anyway. This is getting quite long. However, thank you very much. Um, it's been a pleasure. Lovely pole position, winning the race, fastest lap. On to Monza, and uh, if everything goes right, we could, could, be leading the championship by the end of the weekend. Let's see. Cheerio.